some of you might be wondering what this is about, and um, it's that later. Ten. <laughs> I want to introduce a very, uh, very special, very unique thing, something that's never quite been seen on Knockdown before. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, the longest running talk show host in all of the city of Austin. Citation here. Give it up for the panel show! Welcome to the panel show. I'm your host, JJ. This is our producer. I guess you said it better. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, can you explain to them what, what we do on the panel show real quick while I get the stage set up? We only have 15 minutes. We've got to be quick tonight. Okay. Um, the panel show. You all have seen panel shows on TV, right? You've got. Does everybody here have a TV? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> TVs, you've seen TVs, so it's a you know it's a show where you know you got a panel of people and they come out and talk about you do you're doing so much better than you did last time. Yeah, I'm really well. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that warms my heart a little bit. <laughs> Read the emails. <laughs> oh, you're just doing it for memory. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically people are going to come out, we're going to talk some uh, topics. Uh, what emails? <laughs> after every show, I, I type up an email, I'm like, hey, we did good on this, but maybe we'll get it through next time. And you haven't read it. You haven't read it. Every show? <laughs> yeah, there's like, I've said at least 50 of them for you. And you said you thought we did good? <laughs> I, I, I've said we've had some, some highlights, and other times we've had some opportunities. Hey, JJ, we only have a few minutes. Can we move on with the show? I was going to look up the movie. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to bring it up. We're going to bring up some characters. Um, crazy characters, maybe. I don't know. Maybe normal characters are going to come out. I don't really know much about them. We're all going to meet them together. And then hopefully we'll discuss some current event, news story type of things. How's that? That's, I mean, I could have said a lot better, but you did a good job. <laughs> Difficult chant to remember. <laughs> 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 
I had trouble with that. I got one of those words. Just one? Yeah, I don't even remember which one. Which one. Verbatim. <laughs> hey, you got the hardest one. That was good. <laughs> I'm doing all right tonight. Uh, what do we do now? Hey, let's do the first story. Hey. So, everybody here is familiar with this by now, right? Because we live in Austin and there's already a taco truck on every corner. <laughs> what? popular culture in America. Uh, we beat you to it without Donald Trump. I'm a fan of Donald Trump. He's got a lot of great ideas. You live in hell. <laughs> the reason why we don't have taco trucks is because of favorite feminism. Hillary brought a clip on Brando taco trucks. I'm a fan of her as well. <laughs> No matter what happens in this election, as the same as Oh yeah, long term gonna be great and sunny and hellish. <laughs> you know, I guess it's me, but like JJ, I think that this would be a really good idea for like a reality TV show competition. I made tacos before at home once, and I gotta say I'm pretty good. So. So if everybody got their own taco truck and competed from a business standpoint, or how, how would you set up the show? Well, of course, like it'd be like. Everyone's got their own taco truck, right? And they uh, decide to make different kinds of tacos every week. It's kind of like MasterChef. Like you have that mystery box, and they're like, this week it's cactus, this week it's rabbit, you know? So just kind of compete. It's new. You never know. What Yo, <laughs> darkness is it? You. What's your favorite taco? Migos. Migos. Okay. Nice new story. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. Folks, are you like me? Do you love creepy clowns? No? Yeah. <laughs> what, what kind of circus would employ such creepy clowns? I don't know anything about this. Have you heard this story? There's children in South Carolina who report that they're seeing clowns just hanging out on the edge of the woods, beckoning them in, sometimes with cash or ice creams or whatever else. But not only is this happening in one town, a town Hello? Oh uh, yeah, hello? Yeah, uh, who's there? Did you call the panel show? Yeah, uh, this is Greg. I I'm actually the clown. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have something you'd like to add to the story? Yeah, this, I'm just trying to drum up business, guys. These kids hate clowns. So I, I try to offer them ice cream or money and come on, let me be at your birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I never even thought about them as much about it. Sounds like an enterprising young man to me. <laughs> so, yes, absolutely. Check out. He thought he had that shit locked down. He never met her in person. Just Katie. <laughs> Katie. Katie's a strong figure. You know what? That guy had had come to work. He had come. <laughs> I've actually been texting Katie Perry myself for several years, and she told me she never even met this guy. So I'm going to take her word for it. Well, I, I myself have been texting before. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's an epidemic sweeping the country. I thought I, was, uh, thought I had some real uh, energy with Emma Goldman, but it turns out she's been dead for over 100 years. So, <laughs> I, I guess it was a loss on me. 
You know what we called Labor Day? Yes. It wouldn't have happened if we were called Mother Labor Day. that much in a relationship. <laughs> uh, ocean adventure? <laughs> she she just like she just like sung to my ear and told me about, you know, the glories of owning a small business in this great nation. I just gotta say I don't think you're looking at the silver lining of this situation, okay? Like this guy clearly was probably a nobody for a very long time and now he has a chance. Everyone knows he's really single. He's heartbroken and now all the ladies are gonna be able to see that this really nice man that's very trusting and Spencer. lovable His and is your mother. He has a name. It's I'm sorry, Spencer. I too had a name! <laughs> it's I, Al LaMoon, Broadway's most auditioned actor, and I have auditioned for this panel show that, <laughs> like you and the director of Cats, have not yet picked me up. <laughs> is Cats <laughs> That's probably why I've never gotten that call back. <laughs> I think we have here a hard-working young man. <laughs> 13 plays for 30 years! Uh, your, your name is not Al Well, it's my non-equity stage name. My real name is Mike Timmons. <laughs> but it needs Mr. to Lamar. sound. <laughs> um, I just yeah. came here for the free shirts. <laughs> looks, looks like your glass might be empty. <laughs> like every actor! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Continue! <laughs> yes! Thank you. Right. Uh, if anybody's casting. Yeah, is anybody here a Broadway? I have you? never been on any play, but I am waiting. Hey, I think the audition for MasterChef super easy to get in. I am afraid of not. <laughs> I think we can do a cheer here, a chant. Uh, put them in a show, as long as it doesn't have knives or other sharp objects. <laughs> Oh, not like you notice. <laughs> I just want to know who cares. Like, let's talk about the real issues. <laughs> Go on. Oh, you want me to talk about the real issues? I think she's challenging you as producer. I know. <laughs> what, what's I'm glad to be out of this. What's the for get, Rachel? I don't know. Like, a couple weeks ago, Frank Ocean released his new album, and no one wants to talk about it now that it's released. So we can talk about that? <laughs> okay, Frank Ocean released a new album. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they feel satisfied. Okay. Does <laughs> um, <laughs> anybody here drive a car? Yeah. Have you noticed that we are now the second most congested road in Texas and no longer the most congested? Uh, and some place in Houston? Uh, of Maybe you've heard of it. Houston? Has anybody heard of Houston? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. It's if this is a map of Texas and this is Austin right here, Houston's back. <laughs> I don't think it's actually saying I thirty five is getting less congested. Just the other only one. not as much as another road. So we might not actually notice that unless we drive all the road. <laughs> trying harder than we are. <laughs> uh, get your shit together, Austin. Go plug that fucking road. Do you know why this road is not congested anymore? With all the men I've got. <laughs> hey, that's the reason why. What are the, what are the men doing? They're in the backseat letting women drive. 
Tonight's winner. Please sound like. 